सब्सक्राइब करिए शॉर्ट एंड डिक्टेशन चैनल को और दबाइए इस बेल आइकन को ताकि आपको मिले लेटेस्ट अपडेट्स बी रेडी फाइव सेकेंड्स स्टार्ट मिस्टर डेप्यूटी चेयरमैन आई वुड लाइक टू वेलकम दी बिल विच हैज बीन इंट्रोड्यूस्ड बाय आवर एमिनेंट लीडर श्री पंत हु हैज सजेस्टेड दैट इट शुड गो टू ए जॉइंट सिलेक्ट कमिटी आई वुड पर्टिकुलरली लाइक टू वेलकम दी प्रपोजल्स regarding the removal of the ban on practice by high court judges after retirement the present position is that there is an absolute ban on their practice and the result is that courts are finding it increasingly difficult to get a suitable class of lawyers to accept seats on the benches of the courts it is necessary it is vital for the preservation of democracy in this country for the preservation of human freedom and for the protection of the average citizen in this country that our high courts should continue to have the confidence the respect and the esteem of the people but if as a result of existing provisions the quality of our courts goes down the quality of our democracy will suffer it is a tribute to the patriotism of our bars that so far there has been no deterioration in the quality of our recruitment to the bench members of the bar who are enjoying good practice have considered it in most cases a patriotic duty to accept a judgeship when that has been offered to them but after all a man has to think of his future and the position is that a member of the bar when he is offered a judgeship does not know what he will have to do with himself after he attains the age of 62 it is demoralizing to see retired high court judges seeking reemployment after their retirement the foundation of judicial independence in england or in any other democratic country for that matter is the life tenure of judges it is not suggested that we can have a life tenure in this country it may be that there was a case for a higher age limit when the constitution was being framed but we know that as people age quickly in our country it will not be possible to have a life tenure the foundation of the independence of the judiciary is that once a judge is appointed in britain he does not get any increment in his salary even when he is promoted to a court of appeal he does not get any financial preferment now i should like to say 
a few words about the provisions regarding additional or temporary judges. The present provisions regarding ad hoc judges are very unsatisfactory. Our courts are in huge areas. In the court with which I was associated for more than seven years, we had, I believe, over 25,000 cases in area. Now, these areas are largely a legacy of the past and I can tell you that with all the speed that judges may possess, it is not possible for them with the existing number of judges to cope with the amount of work in our courts. Criminal work has increased, writ work has increased. Other classes of work have also increased. It is necessary to have additional judges for the disposal of areas. These areas, I hope, represent a temporary situation, but I cannot be sure of this. I do not think they represent a permanent phenomenon. Once these areas have been cleared off, it will be possible for us to fix or to determine the permanent strength of our courts with some degree of assurance. I am therefore glad that advantage is being taken now that the constitution is being amended to provide for the appointment of additional judges. There were some legal doubts about what an ad hoc judge could or could not do and it was therefore necessary that provisions for additional judges should be included in the amending bill. I hope that in appointing additional judges, care will be taken to appoint members of the bar who are not likely to revert to the profession after their term as additional judge is over. That is to say, appoint a man whom you are going to appoint as a permanent man in the initial assistance if you like as an additional judge and then confirm him as a permanent judge when the permanent vacancy occurs. Another suitable class of persons to be appointed as additional judges are our ju district judges. If you want a district judge to become ultimately a permanent judge of the High Court, you may appoint him in the initial assistance as an additional judge or as a temporary judge. You can also invite retired High Court judges for definite periods to act as additional judges. Particularly, this should be the case when a judge goes on temporary leave or on leave for a few months for in that case, it may not be desirable to appoint a member of the bar to act in his vacancy because after the judge comes back to the bar, he gets possible advantage which his colleagues 
डू नॉट प्रोसेस 